Today's reading follows shortly after the reading we had on Tuesday when we talked about by grace through faith and comes from Ephesians 2 verses 13 through 18. It's under the title, One in Christ. It reads, But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace, who has made us both one and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility, by abolishing the law of commandments expressed in ordinances, that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two, so making peace and might reconcile us both to God in one body through the cross, thereby killing the hostility. And he came and preached peace to you who were far off, and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access in one spirit to the Father. The Apostle Paul here is writing to the people of Ephesus, Gentiles by birth, that meaning not Jewish people. Now, many of the Jews at the time saw the Old Testament prophecies of the coming Messiah and believed that the Savior would come in as a king or a great warrior, someone of power, to rage war on their enemies and win a tangible, earthly victory for his people and his people alone. Wouldn't they have been so shocked to see that this king of power came not as a warrior, but as a child, born in the most humble of places? And would they not have been more shocked to know that he didn't come only for the Jews? Verse 17 says, And he came and preached peace to you who were far off, and peace to those who were near. Jesus Christ did not come to rage war and claim victory for his people, but to save his people from the power of sin, death, and the devil in the spiritual realm. But not only to save his people, but to save their enemies as well. The Romans, the Corinthians, the people of Ephesus, the Gentiles. You and I, we're Gentiles too. We were far off from God and had no right knowing him, and certainly no right being called his children. But he came that you could be drawn near to him, and that you could partake in his riches, one on the cross and sealed with the empty tomb. He came to break down the barrier that separated you from him and to give you peace, a peace nothing in this world can give but God alone. You are forgiven. You are free in Jesus. Please pray with me. Prince of Peace, draw us near to you this day that we would know you more fully and empower us, your people, to serve you and those around us with our lives. Amen.